He's been making plays during the fall and winter sports seasons for a few years now. And he has followed in the footsteps of his talented older brothers. In this week's CCX Sports Spotlight, Jay Wilcox profiles Armstrong, two-sport standout Seth Newburn. For someone who was on the fence about playing basketball as a senior, Armstrong two-sport standout Seth Newburn is pretty impressive on the court. Seth surpassed 1,000 career points last week against Elk River, joining some family members in the process. Uh, it was exciting. Almost all of my brothers hit it. I think Peyton was the only one who didn't, but, you know, not many people get to hit that milestone, and, you know, I'm just great to be a part of that club now. After injuries hampered his junior season in football, Seth had a strong season as a wide receiver and D-back this fall, catching eight touchdown passes as the Falcons won a second straight section title. He was a positive force for the team and plans to pursue football in college. I definitely say football is more of my favorite. You know, it's a much more physical physical game than basketball. You know, you, me being a DB, you get to hit people, get to play for the ball. So just the physical aspect of football always had a greater advantage for basketball to me. So Yeah, he's meant a lot to our football program, right, but just to this whole school. He's just been here four years. He's an awesome kid. Uh, you know, we talk about doing the right thing and the Falcon pride piece and doing the right things on the football field and in the classroom and the community, and he's done all of those things. Newburn injured his clavicle in the state football quarterfinals, causing him to miss the start of the basketball season. But he's made up for lost time. He does a bit of everything for the Falcons. He does it on both ends of the floor. Um, defensive stopper, taking charges, rebounding, right? Just his, just his energy, right? He just makes people want to play harder. He brings a different type of energy to the game. You know, he's always positive, always talking. He's a great leader. He, yeah, the energy is amazing. High energy, does all the little things no one wants to do. Always, if you see him in practice, he never takes the brakes off. Right, he's just a great teammate all around. Seth is the youngest of an impressive group of athletes in his family. Older brothers Melvin, Bijan, and Peyton were basketball and other sports standouts at Cooper and Armstrong. And their father Melvin Sr. was a great guard during a strong era for gopher basketball. It influenced me a lot, you know, my oldest brother Melvin. He was kind of the first we saw success. He ended up going to Minot and now he's overseas. So I definitely took a lot of moves from his bag and, you know, Bijan watching all of them growing up, you know, playing basketball in the front yard. Those are kind of just some, some memories that you don't forget. So, you know, they've definitely shaped how I played basketball today. Seth's been making college visits for football, and he's thinking about a path for schooling, too. Uh, I've been leaning towards science, biology. I'm looking at the pre-med fields, but, you know, still got to go into college my first two years and get my general, so it could change. But right now I'm pretty confident it will be in the science field. Seth Newburn's talent level is high, but his ever-present smile and leadership may be remembered the most around the fields and courts and halls at Armstrong. You know, it's been great just watching him grow up um, as a young man on and off the court, right? He's just a, a great leader, just a great person. He's obviously been a, an awesome kid and a great player for us, and he's ran into a few little injury bugs over the years, but uh, he's been such a huge part of our program, again, both on and off the field, and so it'll be a big loss. You know, being a positive leader, you know, there's times when you have to be critical. So, you know, I take pride in being positive, but I feel like just, you know, getting in guys' ears is also another way to make them better. So I, I won't shy away from, you know, telling teammates, you know, we can fix little things and this and this. So that's just how I look at it. I like, you know, I'm aggressive, but at the end of the day, it's all love between me and my teammates. So. For the CCX Sports Spotlight, I'm Jay Wilcox. Find more prep sports games and highlights at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.